Hey guys, today we are going to talk with Ted Hamilton. He's the product manager at YouTube over YouTube Analytics. Hello. And he has a tip for you guys about the most underutilized aspect of YouTube Analytics that can really help you on your channel. That's coming up. Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer, and this is Ted Hamilton, as we said. And what is one of the most underutilized parts of YouTube Analytics that creators need to know about? The comparison button. Okay, what's that? We added functionality about a year ago that will allow you to compare any two videos, any two countries, any two date ranges, um, and look at the stats for each and graph each of them together so you can understand what the differences are. Now, this is very, very useful for things like you take your best video ever and you wonder, how can I replicate the secret of that oh, success? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Take your most recent video, compare the first seven days of each of those two videos, understand where did the traffic come from, right? How did these two videos perform differently? What went so well with the one, you know, that was your best video ever compared to the one that happened most recently? Okay, so you could do that with like your worst performing video too. It's like why did this one just ethically fail? With with the average, generally you can you can get a good understanding of that with things like you know average watch time. We do mm -hmm. provide that. Okay, like that's right. you know across mm -hmm. all videos. Or if you look at the table, you'll see all of your metrics broken down for okay. you know a number of videos in a row, and you can kind of understand you know this is a good value, this is a high value, this is a low value, etc. Okay. Um, so you said look at traffic sources when you compare. Anything else they should really keep an eye on when they yeah, look? At, yeah, look at the um, look at demographics, right? Look at uh, the geographic distribution, right? If you if one video is particularly large, did you have a, an audience coming from a new country that you didn't before? Was it because you added captions to it, etc.? Um, it's really really important. You know, you're going to know your content the best, so you have to look at you know what you did. Yeah. Remember back and say, you know, figure out what was it that was actually really good about this video and how can I repeat it? Yeah. Or likewise, what did I do to mess this one up big time, <laughs> right? And, yeah. and stop doing that. Yeah. So that's really the main value of this, right, is to be able to see how to improve future videos as you release them. And you can start to see trends probably as you do this across all your videos like, okay, this works really well when I do this, not so much when I do that, and it makes it really easy for you to craft better videos. That's though. exactly That's right. You, awesome. should be, you should be learning from every single video that you published, what went well, what didn't. Comparison is the best way to understand that. Cool. Well, thank you very much. If you guys have used it in any other way, if you found it helpful on your channel, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Help the rest of us out as creators uh, share what insights and things you've learned about your own content by maybe comparing different videos together like this. And if this is your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe every week. We videos to help you guys as video creators to spread your message to the reach that people need to hear what you have this, what you have to say, and hopefully have their lives be changed as a result. So thank you for being a part of it. Thank you, Ted, for hanging out. And we'll Thank see you, you guys again tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.